This is an example problem of centripetal force with a car on a banked curve. It's not a flat uh, piece of road, but instead there's banking on the curve like a NASCAR track uh, would have in the corners. Uh, the certain highway engineer is designing this uh, curve such that a car can go around on an icy surface with no friction at 50 miles an hour and navigate the curve. Not recommended, but uh, hypothetically going around this icy curve at 50 miles an hour. Uh, the radius of the curve is 230 meters. So I, I have a drawing here of the banking. The car is here. The center of the curve is off to our right. And the normal force, a component of the normal force, is going to supply the centripetal force. So in the horizontal direction, I'm going to write the following. In the horizontal direction, normal force is perpendicular to the surface. Maybe I should back up just a little bit. We're trying to find this angle, theta. And you could use some geometry to discover that the angle theta is here in this other triangle. And then you've got two vertical lines, straight line cutting through. So the angle theta is up here as well. Um, <clears throat> this component of the normal force that points towards the center of the circle is Fn sine theta. Using trigonometry, the opposite side is uh, computed by taking the hypotenuse multiplied by the sine of theta. So we would have Fn sine theta equals mass times centripetal acceleration. This is F equals MA, the, horn, the horizontal direction, the component of the normal force is the centripetal force, equals MA. Then go just a step further in symbols here. This uh, centripetal acceleration is V squared over R. We're trying to find theta. Uh, we don't know Fn, the normal force. We don't know the mass of the car. In fact, this uh, solution, it does not matter what the mass of the car is. A Volkswagen Beetle or a Cadillac or a big SUV, all of them will be able to go around the same curve at this, uh, at this angle to go around safely. Well, let's make a little progress on this uh, Fn. In the vertical direction, the vertical component of the normal force balances the weight of the car. There is no acceleration in the vertical direction. We need a net force of zero. So the vertical component of the normal force is equal to the weight of the car. So vertical, our Fn and now cosine theta gives us the vertical component is the same size as mg. One's positive, one's negative, but they add to zero, but one is numerically equal to the other. And of course, we can solve for Fn here. Just divide both sides by cosine theta. And you might note uh, what's true about Fn and Mg when we're on this situation of going around a curve. Well, what is true is that the normal force is actually bigger than the weight. Cosine theta is going to be 1 if theta is 0 degrees, a, hor a flat uh, curve. But in this situation, we're going to be up at some angle theta. Cosine theta is going to be less than 1. The normal force is bigger than the weight. Just That's a side note. So let's go ahead and uh, substitute that in. The, we're going to replace Fn with what it's worth in symbols, mg over cosine theta. So go up just a little bit here. So where Fn appeared, I'm going to put in mg over cosine theta. I still have times sine theta equals mv squared over r. And here's our first discovery. Um, the mass does not play a role in the solution. The mass cancels off. I'm left, if I divide both sides by g, and now looking at sine over cosine, this is tangent theta. Sine divided by cosine is tangent. v squared over g times r. 
uh, let's work on our uh, uh, v just a little bit. I want to use standard metric units, so I have to change the 50 miles an hour into meters per second. So 50 miles an hour divided by 1 times 0 0.447 meters per second is 1 mile per hour. And use your calculator, uh, multiply those two uh, numerators together, and the miles per hour cancels. We're left with 22.35 meters per second. So this tangent theta is equal to 22.35 meters per second. To square that, 9.8 meters per second squared for the acceleration due to gravity. 230 meters for the radius of the circle. Notice I'm going to have meters squared over second squared in the numerator. I have meters squared over second squared in the denominator. So units are going to cancel. That's what we should have. Tangent of theta just gives us a number without units. So doing the calculation on the right side, tangent theta is 0 0.2216, at least approximately. To find the value of theta, I have to get it out of control of the tangent. So I need to take inverse tangent of both sides. This is a mathematical function called inverse tangent. It's the inverse function to tangent. I have to do that operation on both sides. Here, inverse tangent and tangent functions cancel. Just leave us theta. On your calculator, if you're in degree mode and you do this uh, operation, inverse tangent of 0.2216, you come up with 12.5 degrees. That's the angle that the uh, uh, road should be built with. Now you might ask, what if somebody doesn't read the sign, the warning sign that says, go into this curve exactly at 50 miles an hour, and suppose they're going too fast. Suppose the speed is higher. Well. Right up here, we could solve for r, and I'm going to do so. Um, r is equal to v squared g tangent theta. So this was all worked out and consistent if we have the 50 mile an hour speed. If v becomes larger, R becomes larger. Our, our roadway is fixed. That's construction, 12.5 degrees. Acceleration due to gravity is fixed. So if we make V bigger, R will be bigger. And the person will go up and into the ditch um, on this side of the road. If the speed is smaller, then R will be smaller. And the person will go down into the ditch on this side. So. Uh, of course, we want a little bit of friction, and that gives us leeway on the speed. But uh, hypothetical problem, no friction, and we can calculate the ramp angle by combining the horizontal and vertical information to eliminate the unknown normal force. And that's pretty much straightforward after that. Come up with 12.5 degrees for the angle of the roadway. So ask your instructor if you have questions on that and keep practicing.